nicely done, and welcome back to Friday Night Lights. More high school football to show you, including three more Crawford County teams in action tonight, Mike. And Erie County's Seneca Bobcats hitting the road to start off the segment. And we'll pay a visit to those Cochranton Cardinals as they were home, already leading by two scores when Jack Martinek, with a quick TD run here, able to get through that secondary with no problem. Cardinals leading 22 to nothing. Moments later, it's Martinek on the receiving end of this big play as he was having quite the performance under the Friday Night Lights, hauling it in and then has a nose to get into the end zone. And the Cardinals continue to build that lead. It's now 28 to nothing. Then it's Martinek. How about a hat trick in the highlight package? Ripping off this 67-yard touchdown run. So he takes this one all the way to the house. Cochranson leading 35 to nothing at that point. The Cardinals go on to beat the Bobcats. Your final 41 to 8. Conneaut area hosting John F. Kennedy Catholic High School in Ohio. Out of Ohio, I should say. Opening kickoff, and it's Alex DeSalvo taking it back to the house for the first touchdown of the game as he gets it off of one bounce there and heads down the left sideline. JFK Catholic taking the early lead. And then we fast forward now 14 0 lead in the first quarter. And after a snap over the quarterback's head here for Conneaut, it's going to be a handoff and even strike at the one. And he will not get out of the end zone. That leads to a safety. JFK Catholic with a 16 nothing lead at that point. More from the visitors in the first. Caleb Hadley to Antoine Brown Jr. 20-yard pitch and kept out of the flat for the scores. He goes down the right sideline. 30 to nothing after one. And in this one, it's Conneaut area falling at home, 66 to nothing. Beautiful night for football in week three at Grove City as the Eagles were hosting the Conneaut Ohio Spartans. Early on, Grove City on the move and it's Curtis Hovis going up the middle, nearly getting it into the end zone here, tripped up at the one yard line, but the very next play, Grove City getting rewarded as he gets it over the goal line here on a second effort. Grove City with the early lead in this one, then it's Anthony Nemec following his blockers here, coming right at you for the touchdown as Grove City looking great in the first half here at the two score lead. And then Conneaut gets going later on in this one. Robert Hackstraw hauls in this catch over the middle, helping to move the chains here. Big fella, hard to take down, and he would cap off the drive with a TD reception. But it's Grove City over the Spartans from Conneaut, Ohio, 42 to 20. Tonight. On the high school scoreboard, it was Eisenhower rolling past Franklin by the score of 55 to 14. The Knights improving to 3 and 0 on the season. Some other scores to pass along. It was Reynolds over Mercer 26 to 7. Sharpsville knocking off Greenville 33 to 7. And of course, Farrell and Lakeview will take their contest to tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. And along with Hickory and Sharon, both those games kicking off at 7 p.m. And local college football for you tomorrow. Full slate at home. Edinburgh opens up the 2021 season at noon against Shippensburg. 1-0 Gannon hosting 13th Rain Shepherd at noon. Mercyhurst back home after a season opening win last weekend at Saxon Stadium. They're also at noon against Westchester. Allegheny's on the road at 3 o'clock in Division 3 at Denison. And then also in Division 1, Pitt at Tennessee, a noon kickoff for the Johnny Majors Classic. And Penn State, number 11, Nittany Lions after that dramatic 16-10 win over Wisconsin. They're home again for Ball State at 3.30. Minor League Baseball, Seawolves taking Altoona to a 12-5 road victory. Seven runs in the top of the ninth inning for the Howlers. Drew Ward going three for five with five run, or four runs batted in. Eric Le uh, De La Rosa, three for three, three runs batted in. Daniel Cabrera, two for five with two runs batted in. Seawolves take on the curve tomorrow night beginning at 6 p.m. In the National League, Washington at Pittsburgh. Former Bucko, Josh Bell in a different uniform this time. Crushes a solo home run off of Sam Howard. His 26th of the year, Nats leading 3-1. Seventh inning, same score. Alford taking Josh Rogers the other way for the solo home run. His fifth of the year, Pirates, excuse me, Pirates trailing 3-2. On at the bottom of the ninth, game tied at three. Winning run just 90 feet away. Key Brian Hayes driving in the game-winning RBI hit. Gamble scoring the winning run. Pirates walk it off, winning it. 4-3. First place Brewers at the Indians. Milwaukee was bombing home runs out of progressive field in the fourth. Luis Urias crushing a two-run shot. In the fifth, Eduardo Escobar going yard for the solo shot. Man, these are just moon shots. And if that wasn't impressive enough, take a look at Lorenzo Cain. That is how you hit a grand slam. About four rows below the Big time scoreboard in left field. It's Milwaukee over Cleveland 10 to three. Finally, Rays visiting the Tigers in the fifth. 
Game tied, Eric Haas with a solo shot. It's 21st of the year. And eventually it's Detroit over Tampa Bay, the final 10 to 